In the Arena 3D environment, Visual Designer, you can adjust settings to allow you to design your model to an exact scale or simply to have a visual reference to approximate object size relationships. To change scale settings, select the Scene Layout in the Editor Explorer. This will expose the properties for the scene layout. First, let's examine the measurement properties, the 3D engine units, and the display units. The 3D engine units property specifies the unit of measure that is mapped to the base graphic units of the application's 3D engine. It is recommended to decide what your desired 3D engine units are before you start to build your 3D animation. If you decide to change this property and rescale objects in the middle of your project, this operation cannot be undone. The display units property specifies the display units used for all measurement properties related to the scene. Changing this property converts all current measurement properties to the newly specified units. On the floor of the scene, you will notice a grid. The grid can be used as a guide for laying out your animation. You can adjust the grid major line spacing as well as the grid size in your scene. The grid major spacing is the number of grid cells between the major grid lines. The grid size relates the size of each grid cell to the specified display unit size. This value is not updated when the display unit size is changed, only the relationship to the unit of measure changes. In the current scene, the grid major spacing is 10, the grid size is 1, and the display units are in feet. This means that each cell is one square foot and that there are 10 feet between the major grid lines. For ease in scaling your 3D animation, it is recommended that the project's base units of measure and grid spacing be defined before building your scene. Now that you understand the measurements and how the grid is defined, Let's take a look at how this is helpful when placing and sizing objects in the scene. Let's add a couch image from the thumbnails to the scene. Before we add the image, we can choose the unit of measure of the couch and change the size of the couch. Since our display units are in feet, let's change the units field to feet and the length of the couch to 6 feet. The visual designer maintains the aspect ratio of the object so only the X dimension needs to be changed to 6. Select OK. You can test to see that the object was imported accurately by examining the number of cells occupied by the couch. Let's look at another example and scale an entity image in the scene. First we will need to create an entity style class. For additional information on style classes and animating entities, please see the corresponding videos in our video library. We will drag and drop a person from the thumbnails into the style class to represent the entity picture. In the properties, we can adjust the size of the image. We will make the entity exactly 6 feet tall. Recall that the display units are in feet. Close out of the style class. We will assign this new entity picture style class to the picture.man entity from Marina. Note that the size of a style class image cannot be changed from the Properties tool while selected in the scene. However, you can use the Helper object in the scene to resize these images. The Measurement and Grid properties are also very useful for laying out cues and paths. Use the grid to help adjust the cue or path points to the desired distance in your scene. You are now familiar with the Measurement and Grid properties in the Visual Designer. You can now import and adjust objects to scale in your scene. Thank you for using Arena.